Hello Gundam fans and welcome back to another episode of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. <clears throat> this is episode 5 and 6. And well, I don't know what to think about uh, Wing so far. Our main character is kind of a... Uh, how do I put this nicely? He just, he, he gives no fucks at all. Like, he seems very much the... I'm going to do the mission, and I'm going to... And that's all I care about. We, I don't care about any other result. I don't care if I get hurt. I don't care if you get hurt. I don't give a shit about any of you, anything at all. Like, the, I don't give a shit as long as the mission is done. Whatever it takes, pretty much attitude. So, I'm curious to see more backstory on him, so I'm not too sure how that's going to go, because, like I said, he's very much... I don't give a shit. He even stole the other pilots, the uh, Death Sight's pieces, just to fix his mobile suit so he can go do his mission. And he was even willing to kill himself and destroy the mobile suit to make sure that the mission was complete where, where nobody else can get the suit, I guess, as part of one of the missions. So I don't know how to, exp I don't know how to feel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into episode 5, Rel Relina's Secret, and episode 6, Party 9. Let's do it. Okay, so this is a recap of the, this is kind of like the thing where it's like, uh, where they, like in One Piece, so, I've noticed that in these, that, that has that old thing, like, like it's in One Piece, where it's like, this is the Pirate King, blah, 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 fame, fortune, you know, that kind of thing, in the beginning of every episode. So, they're doing that here, too. Oh, yeah, and then you got this bitch, that's like, yeah, go ahead and do it, fucking do it, bro. Like, she's shaking her ass in front of him, like, fucking kill me. Do it. So why are they going back to space again? Do they just make frequent travels to space? Oh. So does it, they don't like them, I guess? Now, where are you staying at, hero? Damn, she's a... She's an interesting one. Very serious, too. That's what I noticed. There's a lot of edgy characters in this series so far. Like, I mean, it's anime. There's a lot of edgy characters in general, but, I mean, this one... Literally, they, they all edgy. <sighs> Especially the main character. Oh my god. The dude's the most edgy main character yet. Other than... I mean, Setsuno's with him. They, they, they'd have to be tied. But Setsuno's not as... I'm gonna risk everything. And of course he has growth. I, be, um, I hope this main character has some growth because just keeping that edginess is kind of... It'll make him a very boring character in the end. That's what I thought Setsuna was going to be during uh, Double O, the first season of it. But as the, as the series went on, he became more of an interesting character instead of just edgy. Did she just like leave that on purpose for somebody to find? Oh, shit. It's a bomb. Oh, shit. So they're, 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 they're on the, they're on the enemy side, it looks like. Damn, the dude's literally carrying another dude and then literally grabs the girl like a rag doll. They're just like running with them. No physics. Got it. Damn, again, what the fuck's wrong with her? So 
So they're just going to drug her up, I guess. All right, got it. So she was adopted. Uncle of the Kingdom was demolished by the Alliance. Okay. So, so, so much for that drug to making her relax. Oh, there it is. It, it kicked in. There's something to help her sleep. I get it. Ah, oh, shit, we got our old man sensei here. Oh, so that, that friendship, they friends, but he leaving. Oop, knockout. Oh, there's Hero. Hero's moving. That's the one thing I've noticed. The, hero, the main character hasn't done shit. Literally do hasn't done shit so far. I mean, I'm just confused on why the hell he even gave her the sedative anyway to make her fall asleep that soon. Like, I'm just confused. <laughs> I mean, great cover-up, guys. Like I said, she ain't giving no fucks either. That's what's so confusing about her. Why does she want to die so bad? <laughs> Who is this old man now? Well, bye. It is a Gundam. Yep. All right, our main character is actually doing things again. Okay, they're giving some info about our main character, finally. So, 20 years ago under Hiro Yui. <clears throat> also, it's just a code name for him. Then what's his actual name? So he's basically an assassin that's sent from them to do that. Okay, that, that it's making more sense as they're explaining shit. So are they both the, sent by the same person? That's confusing. So now they're 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 gonna have to kill each other. I'm so confused. I need an adult. Okay, I don't need an adult, but I just need the explanation. But what is she gonna do now? She can't really make herself public anymore because those people are gonna try to assassinate her. All right, well, I guess more and more and more information is always good information because I'm still just a little confused on the situation right now. So let me go ahead and do a little skippy skip right here so I can get right into it. All right, party night. Let's go. Episode six.
Oh, so she's made herself public again. That's not the smartest idea. She should have just kept it as kidnapped. But I mean, she honestly doesn't care if she dies or not, so I guess that makes sense. This guy's a strange fella. Yeah, I don't think so either, because usually a gun to means they can take out armies. Usually. They're a little overpowered. We ain't a bad thing, but they're a little overpowered. Whose party are they at? Or it's, is it like a farewell party kind of thing? Like a, a, what do you call a funeral? Words, I can't even speak today. It's one of those days. Every day is different though. Oh, it's just a party for the school. Okay, I was like, are they having like a funeral party? Why is everyone dressed so fancy? Dad just died. Was, okay, it's a school party. I got myself corrected instant. Okay, good. The events of the series is very confusing at times. Because it jumps around a bunch. Oh, hi, there's another Gundam. Hi, friend. This guy. I gotta say though, these Gundams that they released for the five pilots are all pretty cool. Like, I'm debating on what next Master Grids I want to build and I can't make my mind up. I'm literally over here like, I want to build one of them, but I don't know which one. So honestly, I'm it, might, it might go over my Gundam budget or Gunpla budget for the month. I mean, my local shop just got some P-Bandite for the heavy arms, and I'm curious about it. But again, it's a local shop, so they're going to be like 20 to $40 more than like the online play price. Oh, gosh. It seems to be the case with all these pilots, where they specifically chosen to have, like, zero fear. I mean, well, the uh, pilot for the t t one with the scythe, like, swords, I forget the name of the suit and the guy's name. He's, like, r the, the fancy rich kid. And then the set death scythe, those two show the most emotion. Everybody else doesn't show any emotion, like the other three. So were they specifically chosen for that? I guess what I'm trying to get at, were they specifically chosen because of that trait? Because if they show no fear or emotions, they're good at killing, and they won't regret it. Oh shit, someone's coming. Is it what's her name with some of the, Yeah, it is. Okay. I was like, it's good. it has to be her. She's the only one devil, dare enough to do it. Because she's trying to finish her job. All right, hero. Gonna have to take him out. Of course, her scared ass friends. Okay, so she's got more suits on there. So I guess she has a total of five, if I remember from uh, what they just said. They like him and the other Death Scythe pilot, they both show the most emotion. The other three do not show much at all. 
Like, you could stab them, and they'd be like, oh, that's cool. Their mom could die, they'd be like, oh, that's cool. Fighting people is what he's doing. It's exactly what he's doing right now. Damn, took out two in a single hit. Wow, he's actually showing a little bit of emotion for her. Ooh, okay. Nothing. Actually, nothing at all right now. She's just stuck in the middle of it. <laughs> That's why I said at this moment, nothing. <laughs> The story is ever changing, so. Damn. Bye. Okay. All right. So they 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 retreating. Also, he, so Zach saved Okay. A living blood relative. Is she her, his child or something? Or sister? Or cousin? I, don't, I, I need answers. Come on. Even give me the good stuff. Damn, she just like taunts his ass the whole time. Shows no fear. Damn. Alright, that's the end of these episodes it looks like here. He's going to be flying off. I guess I will see what happens in the next few episodes there. Looks like Crunchyroll's still having a bit of an issue because it's giving the oops, something went wrong again thing. So Crunchyroll, fix your shit. Um, but no, it looks like the episode's pretty much done. I only had like a minute or two left and it was probably just ending theme or ending song and like a couple seconds of him flying off figuring out what to do with life. Anyway, though, that's going to be it on this one. So it looks like our, our girl here definitely is crazy. Like, I don't know what to say about her, but she definitely crazy. So, I guess the most I could do is continue this and figure the hell out. What What is she doing? What's going to happen next? Because, are the Gundams going to eventually all team up and have to fight together? Because it, the, he doesn't look like he's a team player, at least right now. Because he still has character growth and hopefully they continue to grow his character. So, anyway though, that's going to be it for me on this one. If you're liking the videos, you haven't yet done so, please slash that subscribe button. Definitely want to try to a thousand subs by the end of the year, but I can't do it without you guys. So, definitely do your part. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next.